In his 2011 book, The Haves and the Have-Nots, World Bank economist Branko Milanovic documents the incredible and humbling disparity in the human condition around the world. One figure on page 116 is particularly informative, and it's gotten a lot of attention from both economists and journalists. It shows inequality within four countries in the context of inequality around the world. As informative as the chart is, however, it can be difficult to wrap one's head around. So I thought I'd reconceive the chart to draw out what I see as its most salient points. Some information is lost in my version, but I hope that some understanding is gained. The data show that compared to the global distribution of income, the U.S. distribution of income is relatively narrow and high earning. The median U.S. household earns more than 93% of the world's households, while the bottom 5% of U.S. households earns more than 68% of global households. Contrast this with India, where that country's highest earners, the top 5% of households, are in the 65th percentile in terms of global income. And the median Indian household is in the 23rd percentile globally, while the bottom 5% of Indian households are among the poorest 1% globally. China's income distribution, by contrast, is much broader. It includes some of the world's highest income and some of its lowest income households. Those in the top 5% of earners in China earn more than 80% of global households, while the median Chinese household earns more than 45% of global households, and the bottom 5% of Chinese households are among the world's lowest income earners. If the global income distribution were closer to that of the United States and other wealthy industrialized nations, the lot of the world's poor would be significantly better.